Greetings, gamer chums. Good lord, isn't that some of the worst music you've ever heard? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, this is Bruce Lee on the Spectrum. One of the easier platform games. But I kind of like it. So the premise of the game is that you are Bruce Lee, obviously, trying to discover the secrets to immortality in some evil wizard's lair. And the secret to immortality lies in collecting lanterns. There are some people who are not overly keen to let you do this, and they are the minions of the wizard, so there they are there, the cutest little ninja on the bottom of the screen. And, of course, the pointy-haired boss from Dilbert, also known as the Green Yamo. So they show up. Uh, the ninja takes, I think, two kicks, and you can kill him. And the Green Yamo takes three. So they're not super tough. You do have a punch, which is that. Um, you'll never need it. Never need it if you've got the kick. So, collect the lanterns in these three rooms in order to move forward. These guys show up pretty regularly. Sometimes they fight each other. I don't know, they obviously have some kind of falling out. It seems like the ninja can't climb ladders, which is uh, possibly makes him not the best ninja ever. So yeah, shit gets real now. Those sort of those things you can see between the the, the platforms. I don't know. They sort of sweep from left to right. They kill you straight away. So you've got to be really careful not to hit him. I missed a lantern up there. I don't really know if I can go back for it. Maybe I'll only be somewhat immortal by the end of the game. So now swords and and these weird things come into it. I don't know what that's supposed to be, like an upwards flowing waterfall or something. I'll let these guys catch up to me and then just run away. The Yamo's just killed himself on a sword. Silly. And there goes the ninja. Oh, this is a struggle. Must be quite a good workout. This is probably how Bruce Lee got in shape. True story. Well, those idiots didn't last very long. Okay, I'm not sure of the timing on this one, I'm really not. Will I make it? Oh yeah. So that, apparently, that thing that bursts up out of the ground is meant to be some kind of extremely venomous exploding plant. Uh, which is why, Mr. Pointy-Haired Boss slash Green Yamo, you shouldn't stand in it. Well, there you go, I deserve that for for being such a smart ass. I didn't deserve it twice. Come on, let's 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 rein it in now, please. Okay. A lot of leaping around. Plenty of swords. I don't know why you don't just grab one, use it as a weapon. Maybe that's not your way, Mr. Lee. I don't know. It's an impressive lantern collection I'm getting, though. Something to look at all those years being immortal, I suppose. So, it looks like those guys are scared to attack me in this room, so... Kill a couple of pussies, obviously. But they'll be back. Yeah, plenty of traps to negotiate. 
Um, the final encounter with the wizard is interesting. It's not exactly what you'd call a boss battle. But you'll see soon enough, because this game isn't very long. I wonder if my that one lantern I neglected is going to affect anything. Perhaps it's a bit uh, too early in the realm of gaming to expect an alternative ending. I'm trying to think of the earliest game I saw that had an alternative ending. Hmm. Tricky one. I remember Lionheart on the Commodore Amiga definitely had one. If you collected the secret amulet, you, you got the good ending, but there must have been something before that. Oh, look, I can go back for the that thing I missed. I'm not going to have to fight for it. Okay. Bing. No one gets left behind. Ow. Well, that ninja just hasn't got a clue what to do. Right, so we're back here. This is where it all began. I must say, this great, this uh, wizard, this it's a nice place he's got here. Must be a bit of a pain in the ass if you just want to, you know. Go and wander around your estate. Check out all your shit. Putting your life at risk the whole time. Let's see if I can time it, get rid of this guy. Yeah. So long, sucker. Oh, I better not do that. You remember what happened the last time I gloated? Cost me two lives. Okay, I should keep him busy for a few seconds. And I'll just leg it over here. Oh look. Three choices. Three doors. Three destinies. Which one will I choose? All of them. As it turns out, I will choose all of them. I don't actually think it matters what order you do them in. As a kid, I, I believed it did matter. I thought you had to do something like middle, then left, then right, and I never dare deviate from that. But uh, it doesn't seem to have any consequences. I think that thing that I just picked up there, that yin and yang, gives me an extra life. Making the game even easier than it already is. One, one interesting thing of note about this game is that it does have a two-player option. Uh, you don't play as two Bruce Lees, of course, because there's only one. Um, you play as... Player two plays as the Green Yamo or Ninja. And so possibly has a, a bit more in the way of fighting skill. And doesn't just run into exploding plants like that. Look, I didn't even try it on that guy and he did it anyway. Silly. Alright, so last one. Looks like the extra life has actually respawned. Interesting. Okay, will those guys follow me here? Doesn't look like it. They know better than I do, obviously. Lucky timing there. Okay. Ah, they're back. How did you guys even get here if you didn't negotiate the last screen? Someone's cheating. Oh, look at that. Look where he's waiting. Well, that's just a dick move. Oh, he didn't even try. Suits me. Bye. Okay, this is going to be tricky. And duck. Don't use that very much in this game, I must say. Duck.
That wasn't ducking in time. That was getting a whatever that is to the face. Duck. Phew. Okay, now. You gotta go super quickly over here. And up. I suppose if I had the upper body strength of Bruce Lee, I'd be able to do that too. But then, Bruce Lee didn't sit for hours playing games. All this just to get one lousy key or whatever that is to create a ladder. Okay, it's the end. That's the wizard. Good lord. What is that supposed to be? I think I've killed it. And your reward is the terrible, terrible music from the start, but also immortality. Imagine if the immortality was balanced out by having to hear this for the rest of time. Ugh. Thanks for watching!